What is going on guys? So before the actual meat of this video, I wanted to tell you guys about what was happening and everything before you guys see it. So I got the chance to go out with the fisheries management class on their field trip to Chase State Lake in Kansas. And so the teacher sent me an email and invited me to come along if I was able to. So I hopped on this chance because I got invited to go electro fishing. And so electro fishing, essentially, if you guys have never heard of it, it's when uh, it's, a, it's like a it's a measurement taking device, a data collection device. There we go. Um, there's two booms on the front of the boat that go down, and they've got electrodes on them. And then it's pulsing electricity through the water, and then it's grounding back to the boat. And the fish are just kind of they feel the electricity, they turn towards it, and they go towards it, and then they get too close, and they belly up, and then you can net them. So. I got the chance to go out with the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Conservation, uh, one of their fisheries biologists. He was letting us ride along in the boat and help him take the collections of Chase State Lake. And so we were mainly targeting some largemouth bass and spotted bass that were in this lake to take measurements. Everything else was just kind of fun to catch, pull up, and look at. So we were able to do this a couple of times I just went out in the boat once but here's the video from that but I want I, I wanted to make sure to tell you guys that this is we were helping take data for the Kansas Department of Wildlife Conservation so then they could f help learn more about the uh, fish populations in the lake and what the average size and weight of the fish are so it's pretty cool they do this to know kind of like how the fish are progressing along and things like that and you can use different wavelengths or not wavelengths frequencies of the electricity current to target specific fish so it's pretty neat um, do some research on it if you want to it's, it's really really cool but I definitely want to thank Dr. Eds for sending me the email and inviting me to come along so um, without further ado here is 10 minutes of electro fishing uh, I know it's long, but stay tuned till the end because there's a big old flathead that comes up. It's really cool. So, hope you guys leave a like for me and enjoy the video. <laughs> Am I gonna go out? That's pretty speedy. Tyler, I need an interview. Well, you see, we're out here on the lake. We're going to yeah, go electrocute some fish. we got a car battery, we're going to throw it in the water. We're going to see what happens. <laughs> a little bug zapper in a car battery? You know it does the same thing. <laughs> you know, my grandpappy came up with that idea. Long ago. They stepped in the power line one time. Well, that's how he ever did that, though. Yeah, hey, didn't get them power lines right next to the lake, lake there, and then we just took a chainsaw to it. and. That was that. And then we, we just got them holding lemon flatheads that way. And if you see the biggest fish in the world, the talking fish, it's going to give you nine wishes that comes up right here. Don't reach in and try to grab it. <laughs> That's... That's a good piece of advice because I'd probably try and do that. Yeah, just to won't even think about it. I'd forget about the electricity. How'd you get Kurt? You hit him when he got hit with it. I'd probably forget about the electricity and see the monstrous fish in my life and try and grab that thing. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of come up and they swim down. They're like this big. That's a good sized catfish there. Yeah. The get it, get it, get it, get it! It's harder than it looks. The 
is where we're going to get those pre-spawners. Right in here. A little young male just came out of deep water right there. That's how you can tell by the coloring on them. When they're real pale like that, it means they came out of real, real deep water. There's dirty water. And right there, that's a shad. But yeah, they come. The young males come up out of the deep water, come up in the shallow water to. Get first dibs on beds. There you go. Wait, is that a saw guy in there? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> bait, man, bait. Which sides are the guts? Keep him. What is that, Shad? Drum. Drum. Some zebra mosses have gotten in here. They've done pretty good. Hey, Bailey, he's really pulsing. Yeah. Some of the bass were doing that. Curtis. That's a donkey. Bro. Curtis, you look like you got practice. Very little. That's a tough net. Spasming. Ow. Spine me. It's a Brooks Overside. Little saw guy. Okay. You gonna hit the the low cycle on the way back, try yeah, to get we'll big. There. Get that shallow water. Yeah, before all the fish get let go. <laughs> 
I thought it was a walleye from the top because we get out of there. That's a spot. Yeah, it's definitely a spot. That's a spot? Yeah, that's a spot. Can I grab it from his mouth? Yeah. yeah. Grab it from his mouth. Grab his lower lip. Okay. Here's some gloves down here somewhere, guys. Put those gloves on you. Oh my gosh. There you go. That's a nice looking spot. That's about why I caught over spring break out here. My LMB and the SPB. There's an LMB right there. I put the two, two links in a row. Yeah, the 1700. That's so cool. <laughs> That's a big, big fish. It's good size LMB right now. Hold it real close to the camera. It looks, looks like a toad. Sure. Did you let it go? Did you let it go? What do you measure at? Go back in there. I put it in there for a while because I didn't know what to do with it. Oh, it's right there. Spot. I did. And then if you take it, take your thumb out. Just so Stick your finger in the See how it doesn't come near as far back. Yeah. So it's a yeah. large mouth, the same size, and the back of his jaw would be clear back. Can here, you always so. trust that every time? Pretty much. When they, when they get that big, you can. This one's a spot. Uh, yep. I want to see another strike. Their eyes get real We're red, too. Mm -hmm. this Look at this monster right here. Last year's saw guy. No, it's just like that's the only That is a result of a fry stocking. So he was three days old when I turned him loose in here. He's going to try and snap me. <laughs> large mouth, that's what I was thinking. Looks large mouth. Like I say, some of them can be a little hybridy in here, but I think that's a large That's a large mouth. That's your textbook drop shot fish right there. There you go. I'm going to try not to fall because that's probably something I do. 